Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Nokia Lumia 730 with me, which is a very popular uh, successor to the Lumia 720, which was a very popular mid-range Windows phone by Nokia. And this is selling in India for around 15,000 rupees. I'll have the link for Flipkart in the show notes. And this is not an authentic unboxing because I already have taken out this device and set it up so that we do not waste the time. Uh, but this is the box. It does not give you a lot of information over here. Uh, but this is a mid-range device sporting some mid-range uh, decent specs, I would say. And this is the box. When you open it, it says that it has a micro SIM. And as this is a dual SIM version, we have two slots. Uh, there is an international version that has just a single SIM also. We have a quick guide which uh, gives you a basic idea about the device, how to put your SIM card, etc. The battery is also user replaceable. The back panel actually comes out. I'll show you that. And uh, we have the power brick and this is the headset that we get. Again, it's not an in-ear headset. Uh, and we have here this and this is again Nokia branded and it has a microphone so you can take the calls. So I'll keep this things to the side and let's look at the interesting thing. Uh, that's this device itself. And initial impressions, I would say uh, the build quality actually looks very good. Uh, the in-hand feel is really nice. And I've got this in this orange, bright orange color. Uh, but again, this panel can be opened. Let me try to open it up. And it's a little bit tricky to open it. And as you can see, it reveals the battery and the battery is a 2200 milliamp hour battery. And we have the two SIM slots, SIM 1, SIM 2. And you can also add a micro SD card. I would suggest that you add a micro SD card because with Windows Phone 8.1, that comes pre-installed on this device. You can move most of the apps directly to the SD card. And the highlighting factor of this device uh, is the camera and it's a Carl Zeiss. Uh, again, it uh, in the megapixel count, it is not that much. Uh, it's a 6.7 megapixel shooter with LED flash. But I've heard good things about the camera. And uh, underneath here, we have the opening for the speaker and the Nokia branding. Again, the build quality looks really good. Uh, moving towards the front facing camera. Now it's a 5 megapixel shooter and it can record video in full HD. That's 1080p. As I told you, I've already set up this device. So let me just unlock it. And it has a beautiful 720p uh, HD screen, which is actually AMOLED screen. And the screen quality is really good. And it also has that uh, clear black coating. So I'm hopeful that also in outdoor lighting conditions that, that is in direct sunlight, it should be better. I'll check that in my full review. And again, it runs the, what do you say, latest version of Windows Phone that is 8.1. And let me actually show you that. And uh, if we go to about, as you can see, it's running the Windows Phone 8.1 update. And uh, let's also look at the storage now. And we have the storage sense. And out of that eight gigs, the available space that you have is 3.2 gigs. But as I told you, you can easily add a micro SD card and then uh, you can just set it to SD card. Then most of the apps will directly get installed to the SD card. I'll add the SD card later on when I do my full testing with this device, but it does work pretty well with Windows Phone 8.1. And one, of, one thing you'll notice is that now uh, these uh, navigation button that is the Windows button back and this that is for the search is part of the screen. Uh, it, they are not physical like the earlier Lumia 720. Also, as I told you, the build quality is really good. Let me give you a physical overview. On the top, we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, this is the volume rocker. Uh, this is for the power button. Sadly, we don't have a dedicated button for the camera shutter. Uh, underneath here, we have the micro USB slot that'll be used for charging this device. This and nothing. And as I told you earlier, 6.7 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash. And also it has a secondary microphone. In terms of build quality and in hand feel, it feels really good. But now let me just compare it with some other devices around the five inch mark. This is the Lumia 535, uh, which sports a five uh, inch screen. And uh, again, as you can see, uh, definitely this Lumia 730 uh, feels a lot better in terms of build quality and also the screen quality looks a lot better. But uh, in terms of height, both are actually uh, very similar. Let me actually bring, this is the Galaxy Alpha, uh, which also sports a 4.7 inch screen. So as you can see, uh, yes, it's not the most compact 4.7 inch screen that I uh, have seen, but in terms of holding it, uh, it gives a good feel. But 
the edges are a little bit sharp to my liking so if you press hard it can dig in here but uh, in terms of build quality and in hand feel still i feel uh, nokia did a very good job with this device also as it comes with windows 8.1 we get all the announcements we have the notification tray and thus also you can customize for example by default we have the wi-fi bluetooth uh, camera and this is for the automatic uh, brightness let me just dismiss that and all your notifications will come over here so it's a lot more easy and uh, also uh, let's fire up the web browser that's the internet explorer that comes pre-installed with this device and uh, uh, it's going to the microsoft website uh, let's uh, try another website let's try readf.com yeah and it's going to the mobile version again as you can see it loaded it very quickly let's force it to the desktop variant uh, let's go to the settings instead of mobile let's set it to desktop and again we have to go to readf And as you can see, it loaded the desktop variant. Uh, again, it is also very quick. Pinch to zoom uh, feels very responsive on this device. As you can see, let's open up one of the stories, for example. Just let's open up the story. Again, it's loading it very quickly. And the text is also pretty sharp uh, on this AMOLED screen. It's a very good uh, quality screen. Again, I have to test how well it will perform in direct sunlight. I'll do that in my uh, full review. Uh, let's tr try one more site. Let's try this techmimi.com. And again, it's going to the, um, what do you say, desktop variant. Again, uh, the pinch to zoom, etc. is very good. Uh, regarding the processor, it has the Snapdragon 400, uh, which is a quad-core processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. It's the same one found on the Moto G, Moto G2 uh, with the Adreno 305 GPU, and it has one gig of RAM. So it's handling this device pretty well. I do not notice any lagginess or anything like that. So it's performing pretty well in my opinion. And also the in-hand feel of this device is pretty good. So Nokia did a pretty good job there in my opinion. Also let's look at the camera. The camera uh, is supposed to be uh, really good on this device. So let's just quickly take some snaps and uh, we'll use the Lumia camera for that. Let me bring some objects. I'll just maybe later. Okay, and we have that, uh, you can just tap into an area like this for focusing and it takes the snap, let me take this one and this is uh, difficult lighting conditions, let's take and let's look at the pictures. Uh, the front facing camera can also record video in full HD, that's 1080p. Uh, there is a little bit of blurring but again. Uh, this, is, this came out really sharp as you can see. So I'll test the camera a lot more. In fact, I'll make a dedicated video regarding the camera performance of this device. And also we can switch to the front facing camera for the selfies. Uh, so that's it for now for this very quick look at the Nokia Lumia 730. If you have any specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to include them in my full in-depth review. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.